So what time did you close up on Essex Street yesterday? My wife was there. She closed. Around 8, same as always. That fireman said, the way these accidents happen, God, we all could have been inside. We're thinking maybe this wasn't an accident? What do you mean? We believe an accelerant was used. Something to start the fire? Someone did this on purpose? It looks that way. Who would want to do this? That's what we're going to find out. It couldn't have been easy to keep all this going. Tough couple of years, no? It's been hard, but we have good, loyal customers. But not really enough of them, right? We also ran a little store, sold hair products, comb sets, infusion oils, edge wax. We did okay. But according to your tax returns, your income is still down 20% from 2019. What are you saying? I'm just saying that even with a small insurance policy, you might be better off torching one of your buildings and taking the payout. You accuse us of this? Certain questions when we're looking at arson. It can be tough to run a small business. Don't tell me tough. I drove a limo for 15 hours a day to open our first salon. Our customers are workers. We're all a family. We would never do that to them. Enough. Here, let me show you. Right here. We have no insurance anymore. We're opening. We plan to open another place in Ozone Park, inshallah. We were short on cash, so I canceled the policies. No, Muhammad. I did not even tell my wife because I didn't want her to worry. I'm sorry. You understand these are questions we have to pursue. Is there anyone who had a problem with you or your wife? Anyone who might want to harm your family business? Our old manager at Rafetna, his name is Sheikh Si. He stole money from us. Mohammed fired him last month. Are you pretty mad about that? I had to force him out of the salon. He scared all of the women. Scared them how? He said he would make us pay. Make them pay for what we had done to him. Oh my God. Any idea where the Sheikh may be? Lives with his sister, I think. But he may be already gone. He was always talking about getting back to Senegal. We'll be in touch.